Buoyancy and Archimedes' Principle The upward, buoyant force on an object immersed in a fluid, whether it's partial or complete, is equal to the weight of the displaced fluid. If you look at the beaker pictured below, there's an object suspended in the beaker. How does that occur? Well, if an object is submerged in a fluid, there is a net force on the object because the pressure is greater at the bottom than it is at the top of the object. That means the buoyant force must be upward because the force is greater at the bottom than at the top of the object. Let's look at this in more detail and let's understand what the buoyant force actually is. Well, the buoyant force is the difference between the force at the bottom, F2, and the force at the top, F1. If we use our definition of pressure, which is F over A, we can see that in essence it's the difference between the pressure at the bottom and the pressure at the top multiplied by the surface area top and bottom of the object. We know that the pressure in the fluid, caused by the fluid, is the density of the fluid times G times the depth of the fluid. So if we replace that in both cases, we've got at the, at the bottom rho G H2 and then at the top minus rho G H1. We can factor out the density G and A to get rho G A times the difference in the depths. Well, if we look at that and multiply it by A, we realize that that is just the volume of this object. So we have rho G V. But rho times V is just the mass of the fluid. So the buoyant force is the mass of the fluid displaced by the object multiplied by G. It's the weight of the fluid displaced by the object. So let's summarize the idea of buoyancy and Archimedes' principle. The buoyant force is the density of the fluid times G times the volume of the fluid displaced by an object. Another way of looking at it is it is the mass of the fluid displaced by the object times G. So the buoyant force is the weight of the displaced fluid. Have you ever noticed that when you're in a swimming pool or in the ocean you feel like you weigh less? This can be explained using Archimedes' principle. Now, Let's look at the two figures on this slide. On the left, we have an object that is suspended by a spring scale, and the spring scale exerts a force upward which exactly balances the weight of the object. F scale is equal to mg. Now, an object that's suspended in a fluid has an extra force applied to it, an upward force that we know about, the buoyant force. So in this case, we have two upward forces, the scale force and the buoyant force, and a down, to balance the downward force of mg. So if you remember, all the forces have to be equal to zero, f net has to be equal to zero. We have f scale plus f buoyant equals mg. So if you want to find out what something would weigh in a fluid, you would simply subtract the buoyant force from the weight of the object. 